people this ain't here. This can. Hey, yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life podcast episode 140. 140. Yeah, man. Them things getting in the book. It is. Yeah, it man. Is. Cranking them out. Back to Saturdays, man. I like it better this way. Okay. During, yeah. the, week, during the week, it's kind of rough. So Think so? Bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, not rough. I just, you go to work. And it's just, I'm fresh. Yeah, man. I feel I'm, you. Know, I feel day, you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, you know, just, just holler at my guy and come over and talk. Man. Barbershop <laughs> talk is good. After work, it's like, ah, therapeutic. We want to crack something open at that point. Man. You know what I mean? What's I up, man? Hey, man, chilling. I'm, I'm figuring I might have to go back to my old mantra. You know What's what I'm that? saying? Bring that cow Kev back, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the bringer of pain, the maker of rain, and the finisher of games. Finisher of games. Believe that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, man. It was a... You 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 threw the gauntlet down on me to, on this week, man. First of all, you try to do my Mario Party shade. Hey, man, right? listen, Mario Party is rigged, listen, man. It I, is. I, listen, I, if I you if you're still having wins, listen, right? if you're having fun, man, that's all that matters. Yeah. But the game is rigged. It's rigged for the dice, though. It's not rigged for the person the who's doing the mini. But games. I'm saying, so if you can admit that one portion of the game is rigged, I don't know. What I, don't know. Is, I don't know. I'm giving you that because I haven't played that. I part. mean, you saw it. You, I, I saw. I saw it. You yeah. saw it. I, it's rigged. We just played the mini games. We played a little round robin. The mini games is rigged, bro. How are the mini? games rigged like uh, okay so like if you played the exact same like if me and you were playing and mm -hmm. we we hit everything at the exact same time like we both played it perfect mm -hmm. it will just pick a winner between the two of us so, so like I think you that's to, rigged you haven't played this yet i, I haven't played mario party 10 i matter of fact i haven't played mario party in probably 10 years okay. so I've, I've played this a long one, time. i think it's more it seems more skill based. It's rigged. Okay. I'm still, I'm still the king of my house. The game I, is rigged. And I take, I'll but, take it. But it's for entertainment. Like, yes. I mean, they, they figure this is going to be something for the family. Uh -huh. It's just supposed to be for uh, uh, poops and giggles, man. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? But. And wins. Uh, Wins and yeah, I mean, listen, yeah. get get your wins, yeah. get your wins off, no but just know some of those wins might be a little fraudulent. That's when all I'm lose, saying to you. When I lose, we will we will revisit this. Uh, okay. When when you lose, <laughs> it's fraudulent. We'll okay, it's fraudulent. Right now, uh, have you want to take it? it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you threw you threw the gauntlet down uh, yeah. with with that, and then you and then you then you said like, dear, you're not gonna finish Red Dead, and that hurt me. That hurt right there. It so shouldn't you know, hurt. It now, shouldn't hurt. With that being said, on the other end of that. I'm nervous. Okay, don't, don't tell you why, man. Like, everything in the game. First of all, we start like we always do. We've been playing. Let me get to it. Okay, Red Dead. We were playing Red Dead. Yeah. Um, the game is like okay, everything in the game. Maybe I'm overthinking it because it's like I can't really. I can progress. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm at the part where you go into the um the bar and the, the dude wants you to do the documentary for the other. People. Okay, I didn't even end up doing that. Okay, so I'm doing that right now. Okay, it's very very deep, but it takes me all the way across the map to other places. I don't yeah. think I'm supposed to be there yet. <laughs> um, so I figured out that really quick. I don't know if I'm supposed to be there yet. Okay, so I'm pr I'm probably going to abandon that, but that's where I went to. But after you do the bar the bar fight, you get into Javier. Javier actually got me into a fight. He owes me some. I money thought it was Lenny. Nah, it was Javier because you go in there talking to him. Matter of fact, it was both of them. Okay, but Lenny, Lenny popped it off. But Javier was the one that was getting beat up. You go to help him, and then you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, boy. yeah, yeah. You and the big boy tussle all the way outside. I ended up winning, of course. I got to, I got to win, but nonetheless, it's like, it's like so much is going on in yeah. the game that I really forget. Like I get back to my horse. My horse is all the way back at camp. I don't yeah. know how I'm gonna get back there. I'm scared <laughs> to steal a horse because I stole the one horse to chase the homeboy down who yeah. recognized me. He did a triple Lundy off the bridge. I killed him. I, I'm finding it hard to understand where I want to go in the game. Like, at first, I, I played games in the past where I want to be the good guy. Yeah. I want to be just kind of like I am in real life. But then it's like, no, nah, I'm a cowboy. And then why did money look at me like that? You know what? He's dead. Yeah. So, you know, I, listen, I, I, I pulled plenty of those capers. But, yeah. But I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, man. Like, uh, the, the game is not going to let you just play straight good or straight bad. All right. Yeah. So, like, listen, it's going to be gray area. Sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. And yeah. you're going to have to take that uh, that honor hit, and it just is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, as long as I'm in good graces with my horse, man. As long as I want me and that horse be bonded. Man, listen. 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 get me everywhere. Listen, man, you you gonna, you going to fall in love with that horse, man. Listen, that horse ain't loyal. <laughs> brother like i'm gonna tell you right now you go get in a sticky situation that horse ain't loyal what? man that horse ain't loyal i'm gonna say what's been the most challenging part in the whole game though was the hunting really you, you, you okay hunt, hunt the deer uh -huh. the three uh when you hunt the deer in the snow at the beginning of the tutorial yeah part, oh my goodness i was on that for like 45 minutes you, well okay so the the trick to hunting is make sure that you get down in your like you're crouched so yeah. that way they uh don't hear you mm -hmm. and uh use your dead eye man so you know what i'm saying a lot of times you can just kind of sneak up on them 
you can dead eye aim. Uh, I didn't got to the point now. I just aim them up and I I, I fire. Yeah, yeah. But uh, like I'm I'm already. Well, first of all, so I finished the game. I know you. Yeah, I've already I've already know, finished yeah, it. Uh-huh. And anybody else who's playing that is close to finished or whatever, you know what kind of grind that was. And that's the only reason <laughs> I'm telling you, you're not gonna finish this game, <laughs> like, because the the time you're gonna have to put into it, like, bro. I mean, I I'm I'm, I'm Going in, man, putting in six hours, staying yeah, up till yeah, three o'clock yeah, in the morning, yeah. playing like, bruh. I saw you. It, yeah. It's a grind. It's it a, and yeah. I started skipping side missions and all that because I was at that point. I was like, listen, I just got to finish this story. Do I got to know how to. Side ends. missions help you on the on the regular missions. Like, do, do uh, you get the XP and all that. Yeah, yeah, you get the XP and all that, and okay. you know what I'm saying. You get more money, and, and you you'll get different items and stuff for doing these side missions. But okay. it's not something that you have to do. Like, okay. you can finish and be fine without doing any of that. Because I'm, I'm attacking the side missions like they're gonna benefit me on the story. They do okay. a little bit, but uh, like I'm saying, if you just want to go to the uh, to the gold missions or whatever your your main story missions, like that's fine too. Okay. But I mean, you're gonna find yourself at points in the game where it's like, let me just wander around a little bit. That's what and I'm doing. Then yeah. you like, bro, there have been plenty of times it's like yo let me just wander around a little bit or let me just do this uh-huh. and then i look up and it's like oh man an hour and a half has passed oh man days <laughs> go by yeah was, like, seriously like days go by like when, when i was chasing homie and, and uh threw him off the cliff yeah i thought about letting him live too but he recognized me i said you know i i can't i can't risk it I had to you know you can you can talk to them and tell them like hey don't say nothing and they'll, they'll back off nah, i didn't go that far hey i, I feel you he said either killing or uh or, or uh, pick him up so maybe picking him up would have done that for me had, what did you hog time or, or you had already threw the rope on him or whatever nah he actually lost control of the horse and he was actually hanging off the cliff oh okay so yeah, wow that hasn't happened for me yet really yeah nah okay so it said pick him up or kill him or let him die whatever or you know maybe it did maybe it's it did. early hey, hold on so this it wasn't just uh it wasn't just a random encounter no, no, that this on, happened it was in a mission yeah okay so you know i do think i remember what you're talking about where you where you could save the guy off the cliff yeah. or not but yeah. Uh, yeah, like nah, like the random encounters is where it really just gets wild. Like Real the game wild. just, it just goes crazy, man. Okay, yeah. It just now goes I will crazy. say though, I wanted to ask you this because I want to see if you encountered this. So I end up uh-huh. looking. I can't avoid any spoilers. I'm just like whatever. Every every everything I've read on the game is that everyone's playthrough is totally different, kind of like how Zelda was. Yeah. So just play it. Don't worry about spoilers, whatever. So I end up finding a video that I was watching, uh-huh. and I guess it was just because of um, it was IGN, so I followed them on YouTube. Uh-huh. And, uh And there's a vampire in the game. A vampire. Yeah, I, I, you said there's a serial killer and that yeah. there's a vampire. I haven't run into the vampire yet. Okay, I guess he's on one of the towns, or whatever. If you find uh-huh. some, it's like five clues you find. They're painted on the wall, uh-huh. and it's straight vampire stuff. He's like, "I've been here before. I'm gonna drink your blood." Blah blah. Wow. Okay. So then, um, it's at a certain alley between twelve a.m. between twelve a.m. and one a.m. that he only shows up there. Uh-huh. You go there, and of course, you have the choice to either um, antagonize him or defuse the situation. Uh-huh. You choose, and that's kind of how it goes. And it was it creeped me out like it was like yo this is real life like, at that point I looked at that video and I said I don't know what game I'm playing. I, I listen I'm gonna tell you like the game is just has so much going on. I ran up on I ran up on a train heist. Somebody else was robbing a train oh, just wow. randomly just <laughs> randomly. So okay so mm-hmm. I finished the game or whatever. So I'm just exploring the map. First of all, the entire left oh. side of the map uh, is is not open by the time that you finish the game. So now that I'm in the end game or whatever, I can okay. just explore a whole new area that wasn't there at all before. Wow. Uh, so I've, I've been kind of going through there. It's, I'll be honest. There's not a whole lot out there from what I was able to see. Okay. But, you know, it is an area. Got different animals that you've never seen before. All that kind of stuff. Completely okay. different. Okay. Uh, so I ran into some guys that were uh, sticking up a train or whatever. I stole the spoils from their train robbery. Killed them. Stole the spoils from their train robbery. Is your crew still with you? No. No, okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil how the game ends for you, but uh, it, like the the game changes. Like okay. it, it, once you finish, it it changes. Okay. But um, okay, so uh, I did that. Uh, I ran into a clan rally. What? Yeah, there's a clan rally in what? the game. Did you get to work them? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you watch it. But it's okay. kind of funny how it actually ends up happening or whatever. And like you could tell that you know they they're putting the thumbs down the right. the clan rally or whatever. But yeah, there, there's a clan rally wow. that, that okay. goes on in the woods. And the thing is, it's not a mission or anything like that. There's something that's going on. I would just. Cruising along a trail, man. Look through the woods, man. Next thing I know, I see a bunch of dudes in white hoods. That you can oh, hear them in the background. Like, yeah, we got a new brother coming on. The blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, just, just that's random deep right there, <laughs> just, man. Yo. Just a random clan rally. Okay, <laughs> what you marked? Them? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I marked them out. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm spoiled a little bit. They act, they kind of marked themselves out. So they they got the cross or whatever. They're initiating somebody new. They light the cross on fire, and then uh, because you know hey, it's clan rally, uh, right. the guy catches on fire. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so once he catches on fire, they all scatter. They start scattering out the woods, and I was happily waiting right outside the woods for him, <laughs> and uh, pick them on off. Yeah, put them, put them down. 
How is ammunition in the game? Do you ever find it where you run out of ammo? Uh, no, because you, as long as you're out there uh, searching and exploring, uh, mm -hmm. the more that you get into it with other NPCs or whatever, you're going to find ammo in them. So I've never run into a point where okay. I didn't have any ammo. Because okay. yeah. that is one thing I worry about now. Like, I'm holding on to resources right now. I remember you said, like, spend your money. Yeah, spend the money. Okay. Don't don't bother uh, don't bother uh, trying to hold on. To, like, I mean, keep a couple dollars or whatever. Maybe yeah. I'd say, how much money you got right now in the game? I got, like, $164. Okay, so you're still you're still poor. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> okay, just like that, huh? I mean, <laughs> it, it is what it is. It, it, early in the game, like you're gonna be hey, poor for a while. Eighteen ninety or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm, oh, I'm a millionaire. At this point now, I'm sitting on twenty thousand. Oh, all right. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And I mean, that I like. I bought out, bought all the clothes on the game, all of that kind of oh, stuff. Yeah, I, so yeah, yeah. yeah I, I bought out. I'm, but, I'm gonna tell you, the one night we were talking, and, and you told me you showed me a picture of your bounty, but. You said I blew my money all on new clothes. Yeah. I laughed so hard. I, I, th I had like three G's. I think I spent maybe like like twelve hundred on the clothes. I was like, yeah, let me, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get iced out out here. Uh I got all my guns are gold now. What? Yeah, I, I gold played all my guns. Like okay. yeah, I'm, I'm out here straight stun. At what point does it go south for you and Dutch? I just, I just need to know that. Like, is it Do you really wanna know? At what point? I know At what it's point? Going to go south. Oh, it's not until the end. Okay. It, right, it, never it's mind. the very end. Okay, never yeah. mind. I'll, I'll wait. I'll yeah, wait. I know it does because Dutch, he's like the, Arthur is so loyal to Dutch, and then you wonder like he always keeps asking about what's going on. Yeah, so you know something happened, and you just it's kind of a loser. Dutch a little shaky. Heck yeah, Dutch a little yeah. shaky. Yeah, man. And the Modrishkos want his head, man. Listen, yeah. a lot of people that want uh, Dutch's head. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. But I, I think I, I do trouble think, follows you. I do think that early on that um the 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 the, the Dutch is going to be the reason that of uh, Arthur's downfall. I I firmly believe that. You think? Well, I mean, how so? Well, I'm not going to tell you what happens. Because but. Arthur is so loyal to Dutch. And like even when they talk about how, first of all, that point you told me about where you can sit down at a campfire or just sit down and talk to somebody and you uh -huh. lose. Like, bro, I've gotten to like four conversations like that. Yeah. I just sit down and talk. First of all, Uncle, that's my guy. Uncle's I, hilarious. Oh, man, I can talk to him. And like I lose 20 minutes in a conversation just in a story he's telling or yeah. something like that. But anyway, they were telling a story about how Arthur, you know, was found by Dutch and they like basically raised him a little bit. Right. And, um, so I'm thinking like, okay, he's been loyal to him. So he kind of laying that groundwork. That's why Arthur's okay. so loyal to him. But I do feel, and it didn't take until I got my hair cut and I got my beard shaved down that I realized how young Arthur was. Okay. So I don't know, man. The game is just like it's like so <laughs> layered, man. And that's the part I'm nervous about is that I'm gonna I'm getting lost in it right now. Now, see, there there are some things that uh, since this is a prequel, there's some things that you don't quite know about the game just yet because you didn't play. It. Did no. you watch? Have you watched the story of Red Dead One no, yet? I plan on playing it after I play this. You know what? It, it, I would say it's worthwhile to go ahead and watch the story of Red Dead One because then you understand a little bit more about all these characters that you see. Because there, okay. like, there's one character that you have not mentioned at all, and everybody else is like, my God, like I can't. Okay believe it we get to see this guy okay and uh yeah like if you if you watch red dead one or you know what i'm saying get okay, the, at least the story then. on red I'll dead one it'll make more sense what's going on because okay. I, I can tell you this right now dutch doesn't die because dutch is in red dead one okay yeah so i mean like that's that's on the table right now like playing like playing immediately you know okay these are the characters that nothing's gonna happen to them or they they at least make it on i know okay. that uh because of course they were red dead one uh bill williamson he doesn't die or anything like that. Okay. He's in Red Dead One. Uncle is in Red Dead One. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to worry about them. Okay. Uh, now, uh, you, yeah, you are there. Are gonna be yeah, some yeah. casualties. Yeah, I know. I know. There is. I know. There is. I know, <laughs> yeah. there is. I know some heart wrenching it. moments because it's building up. The character development is crazy in the game. Yeah, it is. And you build up like kind of like a brotherhood. Yeah. But there's certain characters even when like when we got to the fight with the one dude. Uh -huh. I forget his name, but um, you know, you know those people are there, but the character development is is like crazy. So, um. I don't know, man. Like it's like a, it's just such a layered game. I'm nervous about how deeply I'm into it. Like everything, I'm walking. Like I, I got to get back to my horse right now. And I'm like, do I steal a horse? I literally had this debate with myself. Like, do I steal a horse? Yeah, steal a horse, man. See, like, here's the thing. Like, or, or take the train. If you take the train, you can get back to your horse a lot faster. But then again, I like it. I know money right now is a little scarce. Yeah, yeah where you're at in the game. Yeah, but I'm broke boy right if you now, if you can take the train, take the train and you'll be all good. Or if you go to a stable, you'll okay. get your horse back at the stable. So it's all good there too. But he's at the camp right now. Who the uh, horse. yeah? It don't matter if okay. you go to a stable, you you can spawn any of your horses anytime. Okay, so cool. you're you're good there. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, man, listen, spend the money, spend okay. it. So buy, upgrade your guns, get all that stuff, man. It makes the game a whole lot easier. Don't bother trying to hoard your money. Mm -hmm. Upgrade your camp too as quickly as you can. Yeah. Uh, because when you upgrade your camp, you unlock fast travel, and it is clutch because that map oh, is massive and that horse is slow. Yo, I'm gonna tell you that's the thing. Right <laughs> now, is like even getting back to the horse, which on the map is maybe about. 
a finger length, uh-huh. but it looks like it's so far. Yeah. So I'm like, I can't walk it. Because yeah. I'm thinking to myself, I'm nervous. Like, if I leave the camp, I can run into a bear, a cougar, whatever. Right. I'm going to die. Yeah. My dead eye is trash. I'm going to die. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, I, literally, Kev, I've never played a game where it made me think about that. Yeah. It, right. Most games you've ever I've ever played have always been linear, where it's like, okay, I know I got to get here. Mm-mm. I'll just get there. I mean, yeah, there's a linear story in there. But, yeah, but like, what you do in the meantime is, like, it's completely up to you. How exactly. Whatever happens, that's what happens. Exactly. Uh, exactly. But uh, there was one other thing that I was going to tell you about early on in the game that you have to watch for. Um, but, dang, I can't remember. Okay. I, yeah, I guess it's, it's going to happen to you. to you. Yeah. Um, but speaking of Red Dead, though, um, it breaks first week sales, $750 million in sales. <laughs> that's a lot of guava, that's, man. That's a lot of games <laughs> sold, though. And think about the fact, that, man, no DLCs or anything no. like that. No, I mean, they had the, the special editions and all that stuff that released. But, right. uh, yeah, man. Base Rockstar, man. They, they, they deliver, man. They do. They did deliver. I, I, I wasn't expecting it to deliver this much, though, Kevin. The game is so immersive. Like, it is. It, it, it's ridiculous. Like, every time I play through, I would just be like, yo, my the further I got I'm like my god I can't yeah. believe that they they actually pulled this off the the biggest detail to me like I was explaining to you like just sitting through the conversation but mm-hmm. even bigger so there's there's going to be certain parts where your camp or whatever everybody's just going to be at the camp and sometimes you guys will throw a party something good will happen and you know people want to celebrate and all that mm-hmm. if you like it mind you you don't have to do this at all you can walk off and go do whatever it is that you want to do you can let your character sleep whatever mm-hmm. if you just sit your character down and just let the uh, party go on and just kind of watch just sit there and watch for maybe 15 20 minutes or whatever the stories that they're going to go into and tell and just kind of building up uh the connection of the bond between yeah, that yeah, whole yeah. camp it's like i've never seen anything like that in the game it's like, all organic though and it, mean, it's also detailed yeah, too detail, yeah. right. that's what, but that goes back to what i was saying about those stories i'm saying like that's the character development too yeah. because i find myself like even in the game, like we're saying, well, Javier is getting muscled by old boy. Uh-huh. I'm like, I got to go help him. Yeah, so you, you, know? you know what I'm saying? He's squad. You got to yeah, help squad. Yeah, help squad. Take yeah. that beating, man. <laughs> but back then, everybody fought. So, it wasn't no thing. The girls got it in, too. But you know? uh, listen, buddy, I'm telling you. Uh, mm. Like, uh, finishing this game, man, I, I just don't see it. Especially once uh, online opens up, I, I don't see you finishing the main story. <sighs> just because it is so long. And depending on how you play, like, if you just went and played every story mission, like, you skipped the side missions and just played the story missions, that game is still going to take you a side solid 60 hours yeah. like easy but it was that's the thing though i think uh the way okay my tell you my, my strategy of what i've been doing every night i will do um a side mission or two side missions in a main story mission uh-huh. depending on how short they are like um i got i breezed through uh the chapter one i'm on chapter two, two. Yeah. so right now i've done two i uh, did two story missions and then i, I got to the side mission with taking the pictures with a thing um, yeah of that uh the guy who's paying me that money but with that being said, though, it's like that is so time consuming. That yeah. side mission, that's an optional mission. Like you said, you didn't even play it. And I'm probably going to abandon it and get back to. The story. Yeah, because when he told me that, I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever see, you got, I don't want it. But that's the thing, though, Kev. It's like, I understand that that is a side mission. Yeah. But it's like, it's optional. So I'm thinking, like, it's, it, for it to be so long, it has to be a pretty good reward at the end. So I'm maybe. Just, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, that's what we're uh, I'm saying. Like, it, it, you might get like 60 bucks. Okay. And I mean, 60 bucks is a lot of money in that game compared what, what to what, what you can make. Enough? You probably won't. I'm mm-hmm. not going to lie. But, uh, like, I mean, maybe it will. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what you get for that because yeah, I skipped it. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, there there are other ways you can get good guns. Like, I hear that early on in the game, if you go to one of the doctor's offices and look through the back window, you see that there's a bookkeeper in the back or whatever. You can hold up the, the uh, doctor's office and force him to let you into the back room, and there's a sweet gun back there. Oh, I didn't wow. do it because I already, like, I, by the time I found out about it, I had already kind of acquired that gun or bought that gun, so I didn't need it anymore. Okay. But, these are just the things that you can't do. And the thing is, like, that's such a minor detail, and they don't tell you that, you know what I'm saying, it's a possibility. Literally, the window is boarded up. There's a hole in, in the window that you can peek into oh, wow. and, and see the guy, the bookkeeper back there, to let you know, like, oh, yeah, go try to get back try there. Try to get back there. Yeah, like, speaking, speaking of tell you, though, one thing I do like about the game is it kind of gives you little breadcrumbs on certain things that you should do. Yeah, it does. At certain times. Like, It'll try to guide you. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah but... The rest of it, man, it's like, hey, man, it's up to you to find it. If right. you find it, you find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 750 million, though, man. A lot of people are playing this game. Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. Snoop, Snoop said he might release an album about it. <laughs> well, that was very dope. You know, like. The, it, the game is fire, man. Listen, is. Arthur is my guy. Now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I got a lot of love for Arthur, man. He, he's a good guy. Yeah, Arthur Morgan. Man. He try, That's the thing. Like, you try. He Even when the story missions are main, he's a loyal dude. Yeah. And I think that loyalty is going to bite him in the end. You I th- really do. 
Um. Yeah. I mean, if you have, like, we'll we'll discuss that later on when you're ready to know. We will. I'll, I'll go ahead and we'll tell you. But dive. I'm not ready yet. I will. I will ask later on. Yeah. All right, man. So Smash Brothers, uh, Ultimate Direct. Uh, yeah. Announcements came out. I, it kind of came on a sneak though. I didn't. Maybe I, we just don't follow uh, the the directs when they come. I, I treat them like a holiday. They just come out. I think. Yeah. I know, just saw people talking about it. Yeah. Like, man, oh, okay. The, cool. The Smash community was going nuts though, because like Kirby got announced. Yeah. Which is weird to me though, because Kirby is one of the strongest characters. Yeah, I mean, he had been in the game, so yeah. I don't know why people didn't think he would return. So. They, were, they were going nuts. I saw that you sent me the video yeah. of, the, of the kids going nuts in there. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's your thing. But you are. You're going to pick up. I'm going to pick up Smash, though. Yeah. And I mean, 74 characters. That's exciting, man. Yeah. So, uh, but. Nah, yeah. the old uh, the old GameCube controllers. They got the adapters for that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. I didn't see that part. Yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be kind of tight. Some wireless ones too. That'd be kind of tight. Nintendo is selling, of course, but they, they they couldn't leave that money on the table. Man, listen, they they needed something, man, oh, real sure. soon, because whoo, this is looking bleak over there for that yeah. Switch, man. Yeah, I tell you, un- unless you are playing Mario Party, it's nothing to play on. I see your Switch is still sitting in the same. Still position. sitting in the dock, man. Yeah, just chilling out. Dock. Yeah, just, um, just just waiting on Smash, man. Just yeah. waiting on Smash to come. Yeah, yeah. So. That's what's up. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for it. I think they are really banking on that game, though. It, it better be a hit. Yeah, they they got it. They yeah. really needed to uh, to hit the right way. Yeah. yeah. So, yo, it's getting brick out there, man. It's still just cold. Yeah. Uh, fall is officially here in Ohio. Um, it is. It's going to snow next Friday, this Friday coming up. Yeah, hopefully um, not, but it I looks like it. Either. Yeah. It's, it's getting cold out there, but it's getting closer to Black Friday. Okay. What you getting? Uh, are you, you know, are you picking anything up? Cause I don't know that I want anything, man. Uh, maybe I'll get another TV. That's the only thing that I, I may be considering, TV. but, yeah, uh, I need a new television. Man, listen, you know how them TV deals be going. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be that guy. Like one year, me and the wife just went to, uh, to, uh, this people watch. We didn't buy a damn thing. Uh-huh. We went there and just saw the hysteria. Black Friday is such a farce, man. Like, it, <laughs> it's it such a scam. It gets everybody every year, you yeah. know? But the TV, like if it's going to be one on sale, it's probably not a TV you want anyway. Um, I do research on TV, so I doubt, Bro, I doubt there'll be a TV on get on Black Friday. It, listen, Black Friday probably gonna start on Wednesday this year, man. Oh, like sure. they've been creeping that time oh, up man. more. It started starting at six o'clock yeah. on Thanksgiving or whatever. I'm not, I'm not surprised. They, I mean, that they didn't do it for the whole month. <laughs> right? They do do it like that. Oh, after Black Friday sale, no Cyber Monday. Cyber come, Monday. Yeah. Like, no, y'all think. First of all, I'm, I'm not going out there for Jack. Like, no. man, listen, if your no. deals ain't online, bro, I'm man. good. I don't want it. The world has changed so much, man. Like, I, I really don't even... I I would rather have something shipped to the house than go to the store and pick it up. Like, Bruh, that, that's you know right. what? I, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't mind if it was just like a regular, hey, I'm just going to pop in here, buy this, walk out. It's all good. Like, I, we did Black Friday one year, man. And standing in, in that massive line oh. that wraps around the store, man, yeah. it, I'm not built for that. No. I'm just not built no, for no, that. Me neither. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, yo, nah, this ain't for me, man. Yeah. It, this, it wasn't meant for the me. The last Black Friday we went on, um, me and Shreda both, we went out. And we were getting stuff for the kids. And we bought a bunch of stuff for the kids. But then we want to get these bikes at Kmart. Now, this shows you how old it long ago. <laughs> we're going to Kmart over um, by Micro Center. Uh-huh. We literally went to sleep because Kmart didn't open up for an hour. Uh-huh. So we went to sleep and woke up. By the time we woke up, Kmart was open. Put the car in drive and went home. I just, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not staying this long. We literally went home and went to sleep. He like, looked at it and was like, nah, nah this ain't I said, it. Nah, this ain't it. We went, we were hyped too. That's the thing about it. I bruh. think it's just more the hysteria behind it. Man, you know? nah, forget that, bro. You be like, you be looking at that line like, man, you know, I just pay, <laughs> I just pay whatever it costs, man. Right. I'm cool on that. I'll pay the extra 30. <laughs> yeah, I'm I, cool. I'm not staying there. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool on that. My time worth more than that. Yeah, man. But if you're looking for like bath and body works and stuff like that, sure. I, I think at this point, Black Friday is just to go out, have the experience to be around people at an odd time in, in the day. That's all. Nah, you know. man. Listen, uh, I, I, I've been around the people I wanted to be around on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm for cool. Sure, for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm right. cool on that. You're right. Yeah, for sure, man. man. Them brick and mortars. I'm surprised a lot of them are still open. Now, then, now, I'm I'm more interested to see what that Cyber Monday, them digital sales is looking yeah. like, because uh, it looks like Madden is going to be free Whoa. come, uh, come Bro, Black it's Friday. Twenty nine bucks now. <laughs> yeah, twenty nine bucks. Supposedly there's a coupon you can get it for nineteen ninety nine now. Man, listen, it's they trash. Give that game away. It's trash. They, they man, they they know it's it, over. Okay, you know. Okay, now here's past. You could you could always kind of feel Madden. Madden was you like oh, I, I should get it or maybe I might just pass on it this year but I still think it's a decent game I don't know anybody that's playing it I don't know anyone that's playing it this year nah it's, it's a it's Babylon thing so it is it is so. a Babylon thing like no one's playing it like no one is playing Madden at all I look on you know I'll be looking at the Twitch numbers and like no one's watching anybody play yeah. I think two the three biggest things the uh, football is whack right now yeah um it's not a good product and that shooting that happened too 
You we think, man, you still think that that's hurting the Bro, Madden I, community? I do, I do, I really do, because it's like they can't have the tournaments. The tournaments was the biggest draw for a lot of people. Really? Okay. So like now it's like, bro, I, I'm afraid to go. I'm like, you can't go. I mean, the Pittsburgh shooting, you can't go anywhere right now. That's why I stay at home. Yeah, man. Listen, I come over here, I go to work, and I go home. That's it. Man. Yo, <laughs> conspiracy theory, man. Is Amazon behind all this? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, stay in your house, let us deliver it to you. To be Absolutely. there in two days. Absolutely, bro. I use Amazon for everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything, man. Grow. This Jeff Bezos' is yeah, evil man. plan. Like, listen, Jeff, <laughs> allegedly, man, allegedly. like, allegedly. We'll I don't want jokes. no smoke. These None. are jokes. No, these are these all are jokes. jokes, man. And we'll edit it out. If, <laughs> if, if, you, if that's what you need. Because these are just jokes, <laughs> man. Problematic light is going off. Yes, yeah, it is. it's yes, flashing. It is. It's blinking right now. But it's just crazy how the world's changed, though. Bro. It is. It is. You get everything. That's why I think the whole guy was, was talking about Papa John's was all upset. Like, I'm on pizza. No, your pizza sucks, for one. Yes, yeah, nasty. Number two, we're at a time where you can get anything you know, to the crib. Actually, you know, I'm going to shoot Papa John's a little bit of bail or as far as their pizza like it's good the second that it gets to you <laughs> like i'm telling you the the minute that you know say the temperature drop on that pizza is yeah. over you can't reheat that trash no. none of that but like nah. when it when it gets delivered to you or when you go pick that boy up man up the first couple slices man they good they yeah. decent yeah, all right. man listen i'm telling you uh, look that, that pizza get a little cold <laughs> throw it out man throw it out. you know what i'm saying throw the whole thing out it's over that's what's up, man. That's why I, they give it away. That's it, gaming news. Yeah. It's, a lot, it's not really what I was going Red on. Red Dead is the only thing to talk about in gaming is, right man. now. If you're not playing Red Dead, I can't highly just, just give you any more. I, I just, can't give you credit as a gamer anymore nah, if you're not playing Red Dead. No, nah, I can't. Because, it can't. like, I mean, it, it's the only show in town right now. I heard a lot. Um, the Black Ops is real good this year, though. Everyone's talking about it. You know what? Maybe. You yeah. know, I, I thought of, yeah, that was another thing, man. I thought about picking up some games at Targo, the Target, buy one, get one. But I'm like, you know what? It's going I'm not about to play any of that. Right. It's yeah. gonna be, I'm, I fully think I'm going to be engulfed in Red Dead for a while. Yeah. I, um, I found a, dis, a decent clan in, in uh, Destiny, so I did a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I saw you. Play. I saw you. I was I was going to chastise yeah. you a little bit, but I was yeah. like, yeah, you know, I, I'm I, not going to. After my man let me know that he was offended, <laughs> <laughs> I told him he wasn't going to no, finish this game. You, you, I'm not going to chastise you him. You dropped the gauntlet down on me. I will finish that game. Trust him. Bro, you're not going to finish. Shit, man. Uh, like there's no way i'm telling you the game got me in my in my feels bro like i'm just like I'm it's like, good like yeah. it's definitely worth finishing but it literally it was the time investment like you know i like i've i've got the the free time to do it man you got a whole family I know. you know what i'm saying they, they need your attention this and that's a game that's gonna kill it good for me either like shout out to nyquil because nyquil helped me through <laughs> this whole week I used, to, I used to always talk down on nyquil nyquil don't work whatever whatever i feel bad i was yeah. i took a shot of nyquil man. i felt it'll help amazing you, it'll put day. you down yeah oh man it put me down i felt amazing the next day i slept like 10 hours bro like, i feel good you know <laughs> but i was on death's door that first night bro i'm gonna tell you what the, the game so but and it's not a game where it's like okay well i can play it and other people can be around me i can still be no, a part of the room no no like, listen, no. if you're not focused no. on this game with me, no. I don't, I, I can't do anything with you. No. The wife came down to listen. come hang out with me or whatever yes. I'm playing. I was like, yo, <laughs> it, it came to a point. I was like, yo, did you see that? <laughs> nah, I'm going to tell you what happened. So I do, I do appreciate you can pause the game. Yeah. So the wife comes downstairs. She's talking oh. to me. I, I paused the game and looked at her right her optics and just, focus, <laughs> like, just get through it. Get through your story. Hurry up. Get bro, yeah. Game. Like, bro, that, that'd be the best. And that, that low key be the, like, that'd be the most disrespectful joint ever too. Like, you pause the game and you just like yo all right i'm gonna let you finish now because <laughs> it's gotta exactly. be one or the other exactly <laughs> unless you throw on a bonnet and get in these stretches <laughs> right i need you to go like right, right. like listen <laughs> if you want to talk about this story here yeah, cool just, outside of that, that that was so disparaging today like i had a lot of free time today but i was on duty with the twins and yeah. they were running a complete muck yeah no i could not focus so yeah that's what i'm that saying that, that it's a game where it's like yo no. you it has it has to have your undivided attention absolutely, but it deserves man. it it deserves it absolutely yeah. all right man so another person that needs some attention is luke walton because he's about to get fired oh wow right? yeah magic johnson put the gauntlet down on him <laughs> you think he's gonna get fired for real yeah, he's in the hot seat right now. <laughs> like, listen, first of all, him and LeBron played at the same time in the league. LeBron ain't trying to hear that. Like, whatever no. Luke Walton got to say, but see, LeBron Magic, ain't trying to hear it. Magic got to understand. LeBron is in co Have you watched the Lakers game? LeBron is in coast mode right now. Listen, man. listen, man. Magic better be careful. You know what I'm saying? The GM will come in and install himself, man. Uh, what's, what's my guy's name? Uh, uh, Kobe's old agent, man. He's the new GM right now. Uh, who? I, I forget. Uh, man, what's what's that guy? I forget his name, man. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, the, the GM that's there right now man listen watch your back oh, watch man. your back Le, Le GM is in town I, I don't think he really has anything to worry about LeBron's there to just be there man LeBron I, is 
Sort of, but at the same time, like I don't, I don't think that LeBron's ego will let him be not the best player in the league. And you know, what I'm saying he knows what it is. Golden State has been spanking him, and that's not about to let up no time soon. He knows that. There's nothing so, you can do about it. Though, well, man. At, so at this point now, he's just chasing his stats. He's trying to make sure that his wins losses looks right, mm-hmm. his points per game look right. Man, he's trying to get all of his stats up, trying to be a league leader, or whatever. I saw him post up that stat. Now he's moving up the all time scores list or whatever. Yeah. And you know, you're like, oh, you know. Get, they, you know that's getting him closer to Jordan or whatever, and like that's his focus because he knows. Listen, rings, thing of the past. MVPs, <laughs> thing of the past. At least this year. Yeah, for the foreseeable future. Like I well, mean, unless yeah, that Golden yeah. State core breaks up, like there, there, nothing that you can do to stop that. Yeah, yeah. And so, we'll talk about Golden State a little bit later. But that's the problem with with LeBron right now. It's not even a problem. It's just that he has built so much pressure just being himself that they're going, yeah, no doubt. are you going to win? You're going to LA, so people are going to expect you to win. Yeah. You know, and, and we already talked about it before. Laker fans used to be the biggest LeBron haters. They didn't like him. So much so that he tried to recruit Kobe. Everyone thought Kobe was going <laughs> to retire. Right? Yeah. Like, it was a real thing. Like, the boys asked me, like, yo, you think Kobe's coming back? Like, no, Kobe's not, he's not coming, coming back. back like, man, Kobe's like 37. <laughs> it, it's Kobe's, a wrap for that. Kobe's 40, bro. Yeah. Yeah, wow. He, he's not coming back. Yeah, it, Kobe it's all Kobe's that. the same age as me. He's not coming back. Hey, LeBron, LeBron posted up that picture, man. Yeah. Just think about that it, man. We should have did, did it. Did you think that was passive aggressive? Man, a little bit. Yes, a it little was, bit. though. But that's, that's the, that right there is the problem with LeBron. All of that <laughs> stuff. And mind you, it might have been something innocent, but because it's LeBron, we think more into it. Like, bro, why do you have to put that up there? Right. Well, you why are you posting these pictures now? You and Kobe. Yeah, man. Like, come on. Like, no one. On the same team. On the same team. Like, Getting everybody all hype. Like yeah. some, there's some Laker fans that really wanted that smoke. Like you know, we thought he was coming back. <laughs> we thought Bean was coming. Back, heard, man. heard about it. But yeah. he, got the, he got the approval from Bean though. He said he's now a Laker, and you know. I mean, yeah, Kobe gave him you know the the star of approval. You know what <laughs> I mean? Seal of approval out there. But uh, hey, come on now, listen, man. Uh, uh, LeBron, he first of all, uh, Rondo, he already kind of ruined things out oh, there when, when he pieced up Chris Paul. Uh, LeBron it left a sour taste in his <laughs> mouth about the whole Lakers situation. Rondo want to get traded. Uh, man, listen, LeBron is already kind of out there now looking at management like, yo, why you bring this guy in here? You seen what he did to my friend? Why y'all ain't getting CP okay. out here? I'm going to tell you another thing I was telling. So the other day, so I really, I deep dive, all right? So okay. the other day, Lonzo uh, Ball, who's actually playing well, yeah. had, his birth, well. had his birthday party. Uh-huh. So they showed his birthday party or whatever, and then they showed um, all the other guys, like Ingram was partying with him and everything like that. Uh-huh. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to go look and see what LeBron is doing at this timeline. LeBron was sipping some wine in his hotel room. So he didn't want to go party with this dude. He didn't want nothing no, to do with that, man. He wanted nothing to do with that. That's why I, I said the age disparity in this t- in this group yeah. is weird. Now, Lance was there, but that's a whole other issue. Hey, Lance man, is listen. Lance. Lance is Lance. Yeah. Lance is Lance. All, and Lance was playing decent, too. Yeah, he's all right. But the Lakers aren't. They're just they're just not a team that you're going to. I would be surprised they didn't make the playoffs, but I also wouldn't be surprised if they was out in the first round, too. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be a low seed <laughs> probably. But, uh, yeah. you know, now Magic is laying on thick because he's like, yo, next year we definitely land in a superstar. Like, yeah. all right, man, you writing big checks right now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, the chatter around the league kind of been that nobody wants to come play with LeBron. Right. And, and the yeah. thing is, like, LeBron's getting older. He'll be 34 in a couple of weeks, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, if he's not 34 already, he might be 34 already. I think he's 34. So does that mean he'll be 35 in a couple of weeks? Yes. Yeah, so I'm saying it's like 35. Maybe, maybe 34 a couple weeks, I think. Okay. okay. So not, somewhere but, in there. But even with that, the age thing, I don't think it's more age. It's more so just everything that comes along with him. With him, exactly. It's like Kawhi don't want to come back and play with no, him, man. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler don't want to come back and no. play with him. I, I think that uh, I think uh, Anthony Davis might be kind of rethinking that whole thing. I, I don't know. I, like, who you laying? KD, maybe? That whole thing with Louisiana and uh, Anthony Davis is weird to me, though. Because <laughs> if they don't get him to resign, uh-huh. They'll never be able to rebuild, like, to be anything close to what they are right now. You think, like, man, the thing is, uh, I think New Orleans is playing really well. They are playing so very I don't, well. So I don't know why Anthony Davis would want to leave because they're going to be able to offer him the most money, and, of course, they're going to put it on the table for him. And, well, uh, I mean, if he can draw another star out to uh, New Orleans, like, hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, go do your thing. Yeah. Maybe Jimmy Buck has come out to uh, New Orleans. That'd be the fit. Uh, you know, if he don't destroy the team. He's going uh, yeah. to <laughs> Yo, I, I, I we get there. We'll get there, but yeah. I don't know about Jimmy Butler at this point. <laughs> Jimmy he, Butler, he's he's funny, man. He went from being my favorite player to I don't know about this guy. Man, I'm telling you, I'm yeah, telling you, buddy. But uh, yeah, look, the LeBron and the Lakers whole saga right now, I don't know, man. I don't. And then the the comments when he made the comment about some, uh, you don't, or what was it? Uh, you don't want to see me when uh, when oh, I lose well, my well, patience yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like 
Yeah, it's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? First of all, why does it sound like he's talking to his kids? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's man. talking to Drake, too. That's what he sounded when he's talking to Drake. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll let you down. Yeah, well, still, that was still weird. That's still, still weird. weird. Very yeah. weird. If, if I'm Dennis, I'm upset. Very much so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dennis, got all Dennis didn't even get that text <laughs> message. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, Drake refers to him as Dennis. Yeah, that's true. Hey, that tells us enough. Yeah, it tells us enough. Yeah. But anyways, man, so, you know, another end of that, man, your boy, uh, Clay Thompson. Mm. He breaks the record for most threes in the game. So, it goes back to what I was saying about Golden State, bro. Like, he scored 50 some, 51 in 26 minutes. Yeah. 14 threes. Did you see how happy the whole team was to see him? Like, everyone was feeding through him. Oh, yeah. They wanted him to break the record. It's like, they don't care. Like, Clay wanted, I mean, they wanted um, Clay to break the record. Steph was feeding. Everyone was just happy. And the thing is, I think that Steph had actually set the record yeah. maybe a couple of weeks before that. Yeah, 13. What was 11. it? 11. I think he had 11. Was it 11? I think so. No, no, Steph said it last year. He had 13 he, last year. Okay, and then and Clay broke it. Yeah, they broke it. Yeah. Steph dropped 11. Just Listen, they, 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 yeah, they're, I'm telling you, at this <laughs> point, bro, I think that that whole team is literally just spending their time uh, or their new motivation is just breaking records yeah, now. Yeah. They're like, well, we well, we already broke the uh, team wins record. Mm-hmm. What other records can we break? So, uh, listen, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point this season, Clay tries to break, break uh, Will Chamberlain's record. I wouldn't try to go. Bro, he's gonna try to go for 101 in a game. He scored 51 in 26 minutes. Yeah, listen, man, he, St- Steph put up 53 in three quarters. He's considered the third best player on that team. Right. When your third best player can score 51 points in 26 minutes, right? Give them the ring, bro. And and KD is just like I mean, KD dropped 30. We don't even hear about it no more. Well, think so. about think about how demoralizing that that win was against Chicago. Yeah. Like they held KD to 15. <laughs> they held Steph to like 13. And Clay had 50. Clay's all here torching. Torching, man. Yeah, they had 92 I, points at the half. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just sick. Like, that's just crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, I just watching the season, you know, it's more disparaging to see. They're just trying to, I'm telling you, I, yeah. I honestly thought that that game that they might go for 200 points just Bro, to see if it can be done. You said it, I'm like, you know what? It's viable. Like, this might happen. Like, <laughs> you know, this if really if might they happen. decide to just keep on playing their starters, then they yeah. might just be trying to put up two hundred tonight. In the, in the day, in the days of social media, I'm I'm surprised no one got hurt. Because I mean, <laughs> I went I went to halftime and looked at my phone like, whoa, got physical out here, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> got a foul out here. <laughs> bro. Now I'm telling I'm gonna tell you what though. Like at that point, they're like, yo. Unless we're going to hurt the whole starting five, <laughs> what's the point? You know what I yeah, mean? Man. Next man up out there. Next man up, right. Somebody got to tear an ACL. We got to do something. Turn your body to a weapon and focus on his kneecap. Like, yo, uh, what, what, was, what was that movie where they went to the uh, where they went to the locker room at halftime and they were just like, yo, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how that's how these other teams got to be feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Chicago didn't even stand a chance. I mean, yeah. I mean, even they knew they didn't stand a chance, but they expected to go 92 at half. Like, I yeah. mean, nobody expects that, man. Yeah, man. Jamar yeah. Parker, like, I didn't sign here for this mess. Uh, Oh, man. But speaking of the Warriors, man, Steve Kerr says that the Warriors know they will not have the money to re-sign Boogie Cousins. <laughs> they just want to help him get a ring before he leaves. A ring and a bag. And a bag. Right? Yeah. Set him up for his next deal. Yeah, they were like, man, yeah, we, we just try to help him get a lot of money in his next deal and send him off with a ring. Bruh, how disrespectful how is this team right? at this point? <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't just me. You took it in the shade, too, right? Yeah, I'm like, like, they're like there's yeah. nothing nobody can do about yeah, it. Like, he, ain't, he ain't gonna be here no more. Yeah, he a rental, but uh, it's all good, man. Yeah. We go, we go get him a ring. Yep. Uh, we gonna make sure somebody pay him a lot of money. They yep. probably gonna do his contract negotiation for yep. whoever yep. he goes to. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we know we're not gonna be able to pay him. So you know, hey, hey, man. Stick but uh, it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna so enjoy you know, ourselves. You know, the rumor right now is that they are recruiting Anthony Davis. That's what I heard. I heard yes. that too, man. Uh, it, it looked like uh, it looked like uh, when they were playing the Timberwolves that uh, they were recruiting Jimmy Butler too. Like, hey, man, you wanna be a six man? <laughs> Hey man, we got bet minimum over here, bro. Yo, speaking, Jimmy Butler's trolling the turbo so hard right now. Oh man, he's how, how is he on the sideline waving the flag, <laughs> waving the towel with the with the uh, crowd? Yo, I lost it when you sent me that earlier, bro. Like, listen, I'm telling you, something wrong with Jimmy Butler, man. Something is wrong with no, this guy. I'm gonna tell you what it is: is he has the team by the gonads right now. Yeah, they need him. You know, they need him, but they know they can't really pay him because he's bad for the team. So he's just gonna troll. Hey man, like listen, but if you ask me, that is actually bad for his stock. Oh, it is. You know what I'm saying? Because if yeah. I'm another team, like I said, if I got a solid team that we just need one more piece to put it over, mm-hmm. I don't know that I sign him. Like if I'm the Sixers, I don't know that I'm signing well, Jimmy the Butler. The theatrics behind it, man. And but here's the thing though, with with um, Jimmy Butler, the groundwork on why he's acting the way he's acting, I understand. Yeah. Because he thinks the team is soft. Yeah. But that is very tough to sell when your two marquee players are two very young players that literally they don't mess with Jimmy Butler. They just yeah, they no, just no don't doubt. get along with it. 
So the team has to massage. They have to rub the butt cheeks of of, of Wiggins and Towns. Yeah. The direct listen. people that he's saying that play soft. Listen here, brother. Have you ever heard the story? Uh, nobody knows if it's uh, if it's true or, or you know if it's just a tale mm-hmm. of uh, of Michael Jordan calling Muggsy Bodes an effing midget. Yeah. And then, like, from that point on, like, his career just went completely in the tank. No, no, no Muggsy denies that he said it. He said, okay. Yeah, Muggsy but, denies that he said it, but Mike doesn't. Mike but, said he said it. But, I mean, they're saying, like, I mean, they're like, look at the stats after that. Like, after that game, like, his career was just on a constant decline yes, after that. Uh, that That is literally how Jimmy Butler has broken Carl Anthony Towns. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just completely he's broken this man. Yes, yes he, he's completely. I saw uh, it, it was a clip where uh, he like misses a shot. I think he like airballed it or something like that. And he just waved at the coach like, "Take me out." And I don't think he came back in the game. It's like, yo, he literally broke that man's spirit. I think the with the Carthy Towns thing. It's not. I, I can't attribute that to Jimmy Butler only. It's Joel Embiid took his soul. Joel, oh, yeah. Joel Embiid took his soul for that series last year, and he trolled the hell out of me. Yeah, he's doing it to and- Andre Drummond right now. I don't know if you saw the highlights <laughs> today. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he, he said he's been out there getting at Andre yes, Drummond. Yes, man. He told Andre Drummond, "I own real, real estate, estate in your head." Yeah, you know hey. what I mean. And then posted about it. like that's just crazy to me. Hey, but, but you know, you got to own it. Just play up against him. But the whole thing with Jimmy Butler though is that you know. It, Wiggins has, you know, just came back from injury or whatever. But it makes you start realizing, like, they can't coexist, but they can't get rid of him yet, too. So it's like, they, they don't know what to do. They're kind of stuck in a rock and a hard Very spot. Very much so. But I'm, I'm telling you, uh, Jimmy Butler, if, if I was him, man, I'd strap down and make the best of the time that he has with the Wolves. Because the thing is, you're on a talented team right now. Like, you keep on keeping on the way that you're going, man. You yeah. will end up in Sacramento yeah. with uh, Amon Shumper, which we don't even remember that he's no. out there. Yeah, you know we, what I mean? He had a good game the other day, too. The only reason why I know that because I, like, it came on my feet or something. Last like thing I heard about Amon Shepard was he was supposed to have a reality TV show that I don't yeah. know if it ever came to fruition. No, no. He yeah. has a rap album. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 See? Yeah. yeah. Dang. Well, you Hoop can change your side beer. But although Sacramento's actually playing well, though. Uh, I mean, to go nowhere though. Hey man, they got a they got a better record. Than or, the listen, or even worse, man, they will trade you for John Wall, send Ooh. you to the Wizards. <laughs> the Wizards are a complete you know dumpster saying? fire. Right what? Now. They are awful. Oh, they're awful. Hey, man. You know, I, I was watching the game last night, yo, and I figured out what the problem is with the Tell Wizards. Me, what is it? They don't have any shooters. Like John Wall can't hit the clip. Brad Bill's inconsistent, and mm-hmm. like nobody, like the rest of them guys, they don't know how to take good shots, man. But how did they lose? How did, I mean, they got rid of the person that they said was the problem, which was uh, the big man. What's his name? Uh, 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 Gortat. Gortat. Yeah, yeah, they got yeah, rid of Zane. Gortat. Yeah. yeah. So they got rid of him and like brought in Dwight Howard. Yeah. Although Dwight, I can't put on Dwight Howard. Dwight's I, playing okay. I mean, he just came back. He had a butt injury. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm yeah he Man's a had injury. a booty injury, yeah, man. His lower back, his sciatic nerve. Yeah. You know, that's when you know you really watched it. Like, you're sciatic. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you got to say that like my sciatic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're done. You might as well just pack it on up, man. Hey, man. That's how it goes down. But, like, listen, they are terrible. What are they? They're one awful. and seven? One and seven. Yeah. They got bottom of the out. Eastern Conference. Bro, they got blown out yeah. by uh, OKC the other night. Yeah, in, they did. In Washington. Man, listen. No no pride out there. I'm telling you, they're, they're a step away from having to blow that team up and jimmy butler if you are not careful like listen jimmy you will be a part around. of the blow up hey jimmy butler turn it around no he, he wouldn't man because <laughs> he's not rockets, turning around the whiz yeah the rockets gave up on that trade because they were only about four number ones at one point for jimmy that was a rumor anyway yeah but they're actually looking well uh Melo had a good game last night played yeah. on both ends. see Melo out there shuffling his feet you know hey what man I'm and hard was sitting i was like okay like, they got it they got it they got to nurse that i think this is a perfect opportunity for Melo. mind you play brooklyn yeah, now, no doubt. Said, though, Brooklyn's I, better though. They are they better been. than people think. Yeah. I, I can't name three people on the team, but they are pretty good. Right. Um, CP3 had a good game last night too. He did. But um, man, also, amazing. also Jimmy Butler. Before I get off of him, he did say he announced that he's going to announce when he's playing back to backs. He's making that decision. Hey man, That's, you know. So. Listen, I'm telling you, <laughs> team, stay away. If you got talent on your roster, stay away. Though. Listen, he might end up on the Cavs. He might be a part of that Jr. deal. Oh. Whenever Jr. gets shipped out, man, JR Jimmy Butler might be a part of that. Yeah, Jr. and his supreme tattoo will be in Cleveland. <laughs> That's where he'll be at. Oh man, Cleveland's a dumpster, dumpster fire right now. If you want to go take, if you want to do, we can take the nephews to a game or something like that. I, tickets are two bucks. Two, two bucks. We'll yeah, have to get up there. Listen, it will literally cost more in gas. Yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> than anything to go to that game. Absolutely. Um, but um, so, anyways, about the Rockets, Melo. This is a great time 
for Melo to get his feet wet and also establish himself now that Harden is out. Because they're going to nurse that injury. Yeah. He has a hamstring injury, which is something that could nag him all year. The Rockets are not going to rush him back. Nah. They're going to let him As, sit out. It's early in the season. Absolutely. Why? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Why bother? Let him let him go yeah, ahead and yeah. rehab that field 100%. Yeah. By the, and when you're ready, we'll be here. Yeah, absolutely. Rehab that. Um, You know, spend some time in some of the amenities in Houston. And, yeah. you, know, get, you, know, you know, hey, man, get, get back to where you need to be. Absolutely. Whatever so, you got to do. Melo can ingrain himself. On you know, the only thing I worry about with with the team though is that CP3 might end up getting hurt because. Nah, man, I think CP3 would be all right, but uh, you think they're gonna play him too much? That's is what that, I'm saying. I'm think worried, they're gonna overexert him. Uh, I can see it, but I don't think so. I think he'd be all right. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but the Rockets are playing a little bit better. Um, they won what three games now? I think. Yeah, I think they won three in a row. Yeah, yeah. All right. So your boy, man, Kyrie. He got a proper Caesar. Yeah, listen, I man. I told you my theory on a the proper Caesar. It might, it might have a little bit of merit. He's out there balling. Yeah, as soon as he cut his hair, man, as came out and dropped a thirty hair. piece. Yeah, because like he was the one player. They were like, "Yo, what's going on with Kyrie this year?" In yeah. reality, he was coming off an injury, trying to work his way back into the game, and he showed up with the showed proper out. Caesar. And showed out too. My thing long. is too, he's been super efficient. Very, like been shooting over fifty percent. Yeah, too. man, hitting I, them three. Know, we, we forget how good Kyrie is. Like, nah, he, nah, like, I he, never did. Well, I didn't. I didn't either because Byrie definitely you already know. Which yeah. I do think still that that's going to be LeBron's lasting poop stain on his resume. <laughs> they ran Kyrie real. out of Cleveland. Ran Kyrie out of, how do you run an all time great? Yeah. Away from you. Why, yeah. Why do you, how do you keep uh, dangling the uh, the trade bait yeah. of Kyrie Irving? You and don't it's, trade him. And my thing is, it's like, well, for who? Who is right. it that you're going to get in return for, for Kyrie? Bro, the, the trade was Paul George and Eric Bledsoe. Man, listen, that was a bad move. You see how Paul George you is out there it, looking George, for uh, he, Oklahoma City. He wants no pressure. <laughs> you know None. what I'm saying? It's not looking good. Paul George built his whole legacy on being playing LeBron well. Yeah. That was all he did. Yeah. And Roy Hibbert, which we don't know where he's at now. He's about to sit go. Man. Um, but, yeah, man, so, you know, just get back. Kyrie is just – he's balling right now. He's he out trade. there doing his thing, man. Uh, Jason Tatum, man, you know, he, he had to take a back seat. Yeah, he take a back seat. Because uh, Kyrie let him know, man, I'm the captain now. Yes. You know? Yes. He, Although I will say, though, if Kyrie's playing the way he's playing – and Tatum is finding his way. He had a good game tonight against the Pacers, too. That game was going on. Yeah. Um, if those two guys that, – that that Boston team is pretty good, man. They are, man. Uh, Golden good. State said that uh, that Boston is the uh, the young Golden State of the East. That was shape. You think so? Yeah, no shit. Oh man, yeah, I can, I, no, I, think I can see it. Games. I I can see it because I mean they are they're playing real well and they do have a young core. Man. They do like, there's a lot they of young do. guys out there. They're figuring State, it out. I mean, they're on Golden State's radar. They can, but, but they see that there's a lot of talent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They stacked up. I, if I'm boss, I'm gonna give me no compliments, man. I'll be just telling them they're your young me. Listen, this Golden State man, they do what they want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they you do. do what you want, you pop it, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. hey, that's how I gotta be. Yeah, but the thing about Golden State, though, before we get off of them, the problem for the rest of the league with Golden State is that they got a team full of hoopers. Yeah. All those guys care about is playing basketball. That's it. Yeah, no Steph, doubt. Steph, you know, he gets, you know, his little endorsement deals and stuff like that. He gets those funny ones, he gets too, man. Funny ones, like, right? he's yeah. endorsing Palm Pilot now. I was <laughs> yeah. like, Steph, man, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, like, where are you, man, who's your agent that just be yeah. pulling these brands out the out the mud for man, you, man? Palm of all things. And yeah. It's not even a phone. It's just it's a notification thing. All these really? Little, yeah, it's a notification. You, for updating, it's basically put all your apps on there, and you can just use it for that. It's not even to make. It oh, that's trash! Oh, very much so. <laughs> very much so. That's some trash. Very much so. They should have left that where it was. Yeah, man. But good news though, man. I um friend of the podcast, Derek Rose, Jesus. dropped a fifty piece. He did, man. He did drop a, a 50, uh, 50 point game, man. First yeah. of his career, which I thought was pretty surprising. I mean, I, that was surprising to me too. I thought yeah. he was saying first of since the injury or something like that. I didn't nah, know he first of his career. 50. Yeah. The one thing that stood out to me though, Kev, with the um, is that mentally. You never know what someone's going through when the injury happens. Like, you just yeah. expect them to come back because they get an injury that's been common to other people. You're like, okay, he'll be back in a year or right. whatever. And the, just the toll it took on him mentally. Yeah. And to see emotion that he had after the game, I was happy for him, whatever. And I, at first, I was like, man, why is he crying? I don't get it. But I guess it just showed me that mentally, that that injury just beat him up. You know what? I don't even think it, it's that the injury happened twice. After it happened yeah. that second time, I think he lost his confidence. Did he say it twice? Yeah. I, I think he tore both legs. I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. I remember he came back. He came back that first season, uh, or he came back the next season from the injury the first time, yeah. and then he caught it again immediately. Yeah. So it was like, yo, okay. and that's when people were like, yo, D Rose might be done. And then he stayed nicked up. He was constantly having to sit and just take stretches out. Yeah. And then he started bouncing around. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't find a home for him. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Butler wasn't making things great for him in Chicago. <laughs> well, the hometown team—that's the biggest thing because we yeah. from Chicago. 
the hometown team, you know, losing faith in him and getting rid of him was the most telling part, I think. Yeah. That hurt him. I could, I could tell that. Bouncing around the league. I mean, you got to keep in mind, man, this man played for Cleveland last year. Yeah. He played for Utah last year. got he cut. He and, you know what I'm saying, then he ended up with the Timberwolves. And it seems like he's finding a good good fit with the Timberwolves yeah. right now. But he, I feel bad that Jimmy Butler is doing this to him again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, wow. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's terrible. Yeah. But he said he's trying to win six man of the year. Um I think it's a good goal for him. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's the thing with, with the Timberwolves. They have all the talent in the world. They just figure it out. Yeah. They're pretty good. Man, listen, uh, Jimmy Butler, man, he just, he, you know, hey, man, he, he can't appreciate a good thing, man. He's yeah. uh, he's the dad off of Talladega Nights, man. You know what I'm saying? He got to ruin it. He got to ruin it. It's, something, it's going too good. <laughs> just throw the plate. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, man, listen, you got to start complaining about those mushrooms, brother. You know what I mean? You, you, no, you didn't tell him that, uh, that he didn't want no mushrooms, but damn it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, got to go. <laughs> got to go. Man. That's a funny <laughs> scene, um, But, yeah, speaking of being bad, though, man, as far as we talk about JR um, wanting to trade, wanting to get traded out of Cleveland, it's all bad in Cleveland right now. Hey, yeah. You know, Ty Lue got fired. Ty Lue um, caught the axe, man. Kevin Love out. Kevin had Love surgery. Out six weeks. The, yeah. the coach for the Browns got fired. All right, man. Bad yeah. time to be a coach in Cleveland. Time. Yeah, Cleveland is rough. They, everyone was putting the Even though the Ty Lue got a big bag coming to him. I think he still got like 10 mil coming. Something crazy like that. So it's like, I, eh. I think it would be a great put, a great thing for Ty Lue to do. Because you know the rumor is that um, uh, uh, Mark Jackson will be coaching the Lakers. That's the rumor. That's right the now. rumor, yeah. He's, he's rumor. represented by Clutch Sports. Yes, he's so. represented by Clutch Sports. So LeBron, the GM, is going to get involved and bring Mark Jackson in. Yeah. Um, I think Ty Lue should come in as a defensive coach. Just I can see that. Just focus on defense. Yeah. I think that would be perfect for him um, if, if Mark Jackson can bring and him he, in. And he already, been, he already played for L.A. for a good amount yep. of time, won yep. a championship with the organization. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So, um, so yeah, I, mean, I think that would be a good thing for him. They let him go. I think that they – I think they were looking for a reason to fire him, honestly. And they started off slow. They started – they had any talent. The whole team was – well, they had some talent, but the team was built around LeBron. I, I think that they are just kind of ready to just go ahead and blow it up. Because, I mean, like I said, we, we still got a LeBron regime uh, yeah. out in Cleveland. Yeah. It's like LeBron's team minus LeBron. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, uh, and Kevin Love, I, I don't really – he got all that money. I don't really think he won't be there no more. Right. And uh, Jr. clearly doesn't want to be there anymore, which I don't – like, Jr. be making demands, bro. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right, <laughs> I don't know. Years has been for Jr. Jr. has been in the league a while, yeah. man. Yeah, I think Jr. was like thirty five, but he came out of high school. Yeah, so he came out. Yeah, he put in some miles, and uh, even before that, I think he played in China a yeah, year. He did. So it's like, yeah, uh, he did. Yeah, he been yep. hooping a while. Yeah, he was a, he was one of the players. Instead of going to college, he went to China. But. Yep. So so anyway, all right, man. So our boy, uh, well, not our boy, Kanye. Ooh, Yeezy. Yeah, he says that his eyes are open and he is done with politics after being sued. I'm um, being used. I'm sorry to spread messages he does not believe in. Yeah, man. Do you think Kanye wrote that message? Uh, I definitely think that he typed it up. But uh, <laughs> the reasons why, you know, man, uh, those, those uh, Yeezy 700s uh, oh, they yeah. came. Yeah, and uh, That's all this was about. Well, uh, they sat. They sat. They sat. They Absolutely. did not sell out. This is the first Kanye that I've ever seen. You could actually just buy them. Yeah, it was never like forty thousand pairs. Yes, and I mean, like for anybody who follows shoes, like for a hype shoe, oh yeah, that's not a lot. That's a, that's considered a limited release at that yeah. point if it's forty thousand pairs. For sure. And uh, yeah, man, they like it. They never sold out. Adidas pulled them. Really? Yeah, like so Adidas just took them off the website because it looked bad that uh, you know wow. the Yeezys were just sitting around. Wow. Yeah, that's very telling. Tough call, man. That's that's Adidas' baby right there. Exactly, man. That, that's been a breadwinner. They need Yeezys to be hype. Like so they, is, they need hype. What's the thing behind it? They were ugly. That's yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah. But uh, I guess Kanye was like, "Yo, <laughs> listen, if this is starting to affect my business, uh, taking all these pictures with Trump, I don't know, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I was billion dollar baby, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeezy over here. Uh, I, I can't, uh, I can't sacrifice this for you, just, Trump. People done with Kanye." Uh, I don't know, man. I like I, I really don't know. Yeah, uh, but I, 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 mean, I think that the if if it was about the shoes not selling out, I think it was just because those shoes were ugly. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah. you know, hey, man, maybe that maybe that uh, you know, kind of kind of lit the ball. It, like you hit it around the head. You don't know. Yeah, you yeah. do not know. You never know what you get with Kanye. No, anymore. man. I told we talked about it before. I'm like, I don't know what to take from this dude. Like, right. I really don't, man. Yeah. You know, so whatever. Hey, I, man. But do you think it was sincere? Like, do you uh, think that Kanye really meant what he was saying? And uh, do you think it's a good idea for him to just completely abandon all that junk he was talking before and, and just I, go back to Well, I do think music? that it, he definitely needs to quit talking about it only because people put so much stock in it. And, yeah. like, we both said it. Like, yo, why do y'all care what Kanye said? Like, right. There's a famous line from Dave Chappelle. Who cares what, what, uh, what Ja Rule thinks. Right now? Yeah, <laughs> you like, know what cares? But that does show that celebrityism. Like, people love celebrities. Heck, our president's celebrity. Right. Um, But... 
the other half of your comment um, or your question, do I think he typed it up? I think it's damage control. You think so? Absolutely. I think he definitely is like looking. How can you not look at look at yourself from in a lens and just see like, yo, that wasn't a good look. I mean, it 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 went on for a long time. Yeah. So you know, I don't. That's why I'm kind of questioning if it was damage control. And it was like nothing had really happened no, no. that would uh, spark him out to like because that that comment when he when that tweet came out, it seemed like it just came out of the blue. Out of nowhere because he was yeah. quiet. Yeah, it was like he nothing was really all going his on. Pictures on Instagram and like he, was he all, deactivated yeah. his account. Yeah. So yeah, so you know, it came out of nowhere. So yeah, something wasn't ends one meeting somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. One meeting somewhere. I'm telling you, man. Kim, Kim, he saw that. He saw that phone call to that lawyer. Uh, had, had went through on Kim's phone. You know what I'm saying? He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We gotta talk about this. Yeah. Uh, you can get Gloria all red on me now. <laughs> but chill out, chill I, out. I need you, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, yeah, don't act soon. like that. Don't right. Act like this, <laughs> Let's play red dead. Like, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> right. We can make it right, baby. We can make it right. Get your bonnet. All right. I know you don't need it, but just get it. Just get know? it. You know, it's all good. Yeah. That was too funny. Oh, it is, man. All right, man. So 50 Cent. He he continues to be petty. Him and Ja Rule got a beef for life. Mm. I've realized that. So he bought the first the, the first two rows of, of uh, Ja Rule's concert. First 200 seats. The first 200 seats? Yeah, first 200 <laughs> seats. He saw that Ja Rule tickets <laughs> were on sale for $15 on Groupon. So he bought 200 <laughs> seats. Just so that way it would look empty. Yo. That's does, hilarious. Does it get any more petty than that? I mean, I don't think it does. That's man. where you know you're rich because he was like, he was like, man, listen, three thousand dollars to embarrass Ja Rule like that? That's a bargain. <laughs> you know what I'm Absolutely. Saying? <laughs> but how funny is it that you got? I mean, not funny, but how hilarious is it be for a person if you're one of your arch enemies? They had real beef. Yeah. You get online and you look at Groupon. That's why since you went, I can't think 50s on Groupon, but I think someone told him like, yo, 50, look at these tickets on Groupon. And he hit buy. Right. He was like, yo, <laughs> but two, how many? Can, make sure they're all in the front too. I was like, oh, that's disrespect. That is disrespect. Total disrespect. Yo, and then and then showed the pictures of the concert, like and the people that were like behind the two hundred, the two hundred seats. Only thing that would made it better is if he showed up. Oh man, he sit in the, sit front, the front row. row. <laughs> That's that was, the thing. He'll do it though, man. You know yeah. he'll do something like that. Oh man, that's funny. That's that messed is. up. I do commend Ja Rule for uh, still like just talking trash to Fifty. Yeah, clearly they're you on gotta talk back. Yeah, clearly they're on different pay scales at this point in life. <laughs> and I get it. Ja Rule still got to like defeat. And the thing about it is, Ja Rule had a really decent career, man. He People, did. He had hits, man. Yo, no, like. Ja Rule was a mega star he at was, one point, man. bro. Yeah, he like, was. Yeah, he was. And then 50 just came through and ended all. Like, I've never seen somebody make it just completely corny to yeah, like an artist. To like an artist. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yo, like nobody can do that to Drake right now. Mm -hmm. uh, even like Nas and Jay-Z, both of them weathered the storm. And I mean, that battle got nasty. Yeah. I have literally never seen somebody who is a mega star. <laughs> and then like, oh, oh, it just felt like it was like over the course of a couple of months, everybody turned on yeah. Ja Rule. That it was like it was over. It was big, man. It was. It was just he came through, and even Jay said it like, "Yo, that's Fifty Cent guys coming, so you guys better get everything tight." Yeah. So you know, but I do like uh, the petty is petty. It's I, nasty. I, that, I that, that that was hilarious. Though. I ain't it gonna was. lie. Very much so, man. All right, man. So we gotta talk about it. Nicki and Cardi beef. Yeah, man. Reignited. <sighs> is this good for hip hop, bro? I don't. Because I mean, it feels like it's gonna be eternal at this point. Like it, I mean, they they just keep weird, on beefing. Though. It's like super weird because. Cardi B has already made it. And I'm sure she knows that she's made it. Yeah. And, like, the thing that gets me about her, though, is that you can tell she's genuine in the fact that things still bother her. So she's answering Oh, questions. she ain't been famous that long. Right. She hasn't been famous that long. Yeah. So, and I told you when we were talking about it, like, yo, I think she'd be the one to blow it. Like, people think about guys shooting each other. No, I think she would probably shoot somebody. I really do. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, I think she would be. She'd yeah. be the one. I don't, I don't I, see I, do. I can't see it. She, she is... She is is, she, is it Atlantic? Who she with? Uh, yeah, she's with Atlantic. Yeah, she is their cash cow right now. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Everything she jumps on is really good. And I think it's because we believe her. And and Nikki is doing her best job to point out the fact of uh, ways to discredit an MC. She yeah. doesn't write a rhyme. She's basically just a person. She don't realize that nobody cares. Right. Like, that's, that's the thing. And, no the, and the, the worst thing about that is, too, is it's like, yo, Nikki kind of made this for herself when she let Meek go in on Drake. About yeah. the whole ghostwriting thing or whatever, she like yeah. she kind of made her bed with that and allowing Meek to go ahead and go through it. Uh, you know, what I'm saying putting all that stuff out there, that information out there, mm -hmm. because then the public was like, you know what, Drake makes good songs, so I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care. So now when she tries to use that against Cardi, everybody's like, 
I like Cardi, so yeah. I, I don't yeah. care if she writes songs or not. Right, right, exactly. And I think they even at the end of it all, I mean, it, it was it went on for like an all day thing. It, was it like, did. You know, she had her Queen Radio thing, and she talked she, about everything there. And Cardi came right back, Cardi came hopped right, right on right. IG, like, yes. "Yo, listen, I'm not letting no shot slide. None. I'm None. addressing everything." No, I will say they did get to a crazy point to where her phone number got leaked. And fans yeah. were actually texting, texting, like, called crazy gonna, stuff. Yeah, we're gonna kill your baby and stuff like that. I don't understand how a person. I don't care how rich you are. See, reading something like that has got to, you know, be just. Weird. You know, I I don't understand how you get to that level. Like, listen, you know, you and I both, man, mm-hmm. love Hove. Yeah, but the thing is, bro, like, I enjoy Jay Z's music. Absolutely. I don't know Jay Z. I wouldn't. No, I listen. No. I wouldn't do anything for Jay Z no, like, exactly. <laughs> at all. Period. That, like that's the weird part about. It. That's where the internet. I told you the internet's gonna be the death of us all. Right. And that's that's the part that gets weird when you got people who love an artist so much that they would literally kill someone. Right. Them. Or uh, like that you felt so passionate that this person that you don't know, like you. I mean, you know, we know uh, Cardi B's uh, online celebrity and all right. that kind of stuff like that, but you don't know this person. No, you you don't. don't know anything about them outside of, you know, whatever their persona is. Mm. And it's like, yo, you feel so passionately because of another person that you don't know and yeah. have never met yeah. uh, because they are in an argument that doesn't involve you in any way. I feel like we're kind of slighted because we're males. Maybe we just don't see it the way. Like, I feel like this might be a Tupac and Biggie thing going on and we just don't. We're not emotionally Maybe. invested in it, you know? But even that, that was like some street stuff. So, yeah, was, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, uh, they like but, they had a personal beef, but it was never the fans yeah. that were having to get involved in Tupac and Biggie. True. That was between them. Yeah. Like, this is literally, like, I mean, Cardi has come out numerous times like, yo, listen, it's not even Nicki at this point. It is the barbs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to, like, they leaked my song, so I had yeah. to just go ahead and put it out yeah. like, uh, ahead of schedule. They're but, texting me all kind of crazy stuff like, this is nuts. But it goes back to the old additive where you tell people, like, don't give it attention because you don't want to let them know you're upset. Yeah. And I think that's what Cardi is doing. Like, people, the, the bars know she's upset. It's like, okay, that's that button I can press. Poop. But why? My thing is, why? Like, Cardi has no problem with you. Like, you know. like they don't, you don't know her. She doesn't know you. Yeah. What, like, what's the issue? Yeah, like, you, where you, do you have time in your day to be so emotionally invested? I don't know. That's the part about it. Like, I don't get. Because Nikki was saying, like, she didn't pay, big me up or whatever. And that's the part of stuff that comes off weird to me is that yeah. why should you care if someone bigs you up? Right. Yeah. You that, that's a little. That's a little bit strange. But I think that, that like I don't. I, it seems like Nikki's kind of lost touch with reality a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I, no, you're right. I told you it was over for a long time. Yeah. Man. It's like she's just lost touch with. And you, I, I hate to say this, but that happens to a lot of female acts for whatever reason. I'm sure there's a lot of male acts that uh, do the same thing, but it, it really seems like a lot of female acts just lose touch of reality. It's like, yo, listen. You just a human being, just well, same day. But like you were an entertainer, entertain yeah. me. Outside of that, I don't care about way, anything that you do. The you're way doing. it comes off is that she doesn't. It doesn't sit well with her that Cardi B is as big as she is. Yeah, that's she the does. way it comes off. But that's 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 hating, bro. Yeah, it is. Like you know, said like that's, no, it is. That's a definition. That's, of that's hating. pure hating. Like you know, what I'm saying like you're yeah. upset that she <laughs> is popping or whatever, right. and she might be a bigger artist than what you are right now. Yeah, and it's like yeah. yo, that that's pure hate. Like that's just hating. Yeah, that's the part we don't get. Yeah. Like, I'm sure it happens that. behind the scenes with other actors. She, you're upset that she didn't pay homage to you or she didn't big you up just because you were doing it before her? Yeah. Like, I uh, I don't know. What happens to women empowerment as far as like with ladies night and stuff like that? Like when Missy was around. Like, what I, don't, I don't go too deep with all that. All right, but okay, listen, listen, but listen. That, that, that stuff, that, listen, that stuff goes as far as it's convenient. My, <laughs> that, that, that is what I've noticed about a lot I of those sorts of things. I think it's a personality thing though too though. Because those personalities that were in that era were all... I don't know. Well, yeah, uh, listen. A lot of that, a lot of that is it, it's only uh, it only matters when it's convenient. Like if it's working to your favor, then mm. hey man, it's all. This is not something that we discuss, but uh, <laughs> but listen, uh, no, 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 for, for real. Like this ain't on the docket or nothing like this. But we were talking about it in text messages. All right, so how is Matt Barnes? How is Matt Barnes trying to get his child support reduced? This world is with, not built with for full men, custody man. of. His children. Listen, the, 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 that type of thing is it, no, not built for me. Somebody got to make that make sense to me. Like, yo. It, it doesn't. It won't. How How is he paying child support I, and he has his children? I think like, it's, what is I she think, I think it's a temporary for? thing. I the, think the full custody the is temporary? The full custody thing is temporary. Well, then guess what? His child support should be temporarily <laughs> cut off. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I think she spends it to where, let me say spends it. She positions her argument that, you know, she was a stay-at-home mom. And she deserves. I don't know. Was it alimony or was it child support? It was child support. See, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. child support. And and the thing is, it's like, well, you can't say, oh, well, uh, for my well being or my upkeep, because you're engaged to uh, yeah. uh, uh, Derek Fisher, right? Right. So it's like, yo, you don't have your kids. You got a new man. 
why is this man paying you money? That whole situation is just weirdo style to me. Oh, yeah, that whole thing like, is whole weird. Thing is but, I mean, even even if you just remove the names, I don't mm-hmm. care about uh, who they are on an individual level. I'm yeah. just trying to make sense of the situation. Like, how does that work? Uh, I don't understand it. You got to like, the money that's been spent just in lawyers in that whole thing. $20,000 a month. Yeah. And, I mean, whatever. I get it. Like, the, mm-hmm. like when she had custody of those kids, hey, man, listen. that It, it is what it is. It's, it, but if he don't got custody of them kids, if he got custody of them kids, what is he paying her for exactly? Bro, I'll be honest with you, man. It's not too many things that stump me. And and I don't this, know. Is, this is the most telling part, bro. He's taking her to court to reduce the child support payments. So he's still going to pay. He's still, he's still going to pay her. You know what I'm saying? Even though he has the kids, <laughs> he's still going to pay her child support. But it's just, you know, he don't think that he should be paying that much because he has full custody of the kids. I don't understand. I, I don't get it. I don't get yeah, it. But it, again, I know a lot of people <laughs> agree with this. Because it is convenient. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is, I'll just leave it there. Getting Problematic comments. light is get, blinking. It's flashing. Get comments. You're yeah. Get in there. Get spicy. Get, he said it. Not me. Yeah, yeah. But I do you know agree what I'm saying? with him, though. Uh, it's, just, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It that's, is, a, that's all I'm it's saying. Is it's weird. weird it's weird. It's somebody make weird. it make sense to me. I'm sure somebody yeah. has a logical explanation yeah. for how that in, works. You come in and write a dissertation on, well, in this state, in the law, blah, blah. Listen, I'm not going to like, it. No, no, no. Because, listen, I don't want to hear about what the law is. I want to I want to know about the common sense portion of it. Where yeah, does it make make it make sense to me? It has to be somewhere you know in California. I, mean? I know that. It has yeah, no doubt. To California, no doubt. It's a weird place. But man. make it make sense to me. That's yeah. all I ask. Let's Just know. that's all I ask. Yeah, let us know, man. Yeah. But yo, uh, you got anything else? I man, I, I have one other thing to talk about, man. I didn't What's put up? this on the docket either, but uh, I saw <laughs> uh-huh. I saw your girl Iggy Azalea oh. got out of her record contract. <laughs> She's a free agent finally, and she can release music <laughs> as she as she feels. <laughs> so uh, you know. If you're looking forward to those uh, those Iggy Azalea chunts, hey man, on the way. Chutes. They're on the way, man. You look you looking forward to that, man? You wanna hear some, you wanna hear some new Iggy Eggs? Listen, I'm looking forward to to, to Iggy Azalea's um going through the popular feed for her doing things. <laughs> hey man, look, problematic light is going. It is going, going, going. <laughs> and it is what it is. But you know what? I, I guess my biggest question is like, yo. Where does her accent go when she raps? <laughs> like, she has one? I, I, yes. If you ever heard her speak, man, it's thick, too. Thick Australian accent, man. But when she raps, somehow somehow she transforms into, uh, you know, a girl from uh, the Deep South. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? She's from down under, but she goes to the Deep South uh, whenever she's rapping. It don't make sense to me, but it ain't got to make sense man, to me. Man, that accent went to the same place that Flatback side went. Whoa, to the whoa, that's where it went. whoa, 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 right, whoa. Jeff? Hey, <laughs> hey, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, listen, I'm, I'm happy she got what she wanted. <laughs> She is uh, out of that uh, out of that record deal that was holding her back. Yeah, whatever. you know what I'm saying. And uh, now all the uh, people that were waiting on Iggy Azalea music. Yeah, until yeah. she announced that she was being held back, no one knew she's being held back, bro. Like, no and you know, no, we knew because it was like, yo, singles kept coming out and flopping, <laughs> tours kept getting canceled, oh, yeah. album yeah. releases kept getting canceled. Yeah, and yeah. it was like, yo, and maybe yeah. that was. But you know what? Maybe the label was like, man, we just trying to save you. Like they they heard the music. They're like, this ain't good. Yeah. Uh, they shot the video. It's like, man, it still ain't working. We trying. We she trying did everything. With, uh, Tiger, but she was in there just shaking it around. Hey man, listen, uh, Tiger. Tiger's on the streak right now, man. But yeah, you know yes. what? All she got to do, man, get in the studio with uh with a Youngberg or whatever he's calling himself these yeah, days. Yeah. Man, that that rebrand is crazy. It like, is. yo, yeah. he, he really just gave himself a new name. Like Absolutely. all of that stuff never happened. He'll blow it at some point. He's gonna try to rap again. I, I guarantee it. He's gonna try. It. Listen, you know, as long as he doesn't. <laughs> Buy any gaudy jewelry, <laughs> I think that he'll be okay. I think he should make a game out of it, man. That chain was it did the world tour, man. Wait, like that was a set, like that 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 chain somehow ended up like in a lake in like oh. Jackson, Mississippi, somehow. Like yes. after it went around the world, the orcas probably wearing it right. Yo, now. Yeah. I, somebody did a radio. I think Angela Yee had a radio show at that time, man, and the chain called in. <laughs> That chain was everywhere, man. man they accused it of being fake and everything. It was like, man. Oh man, the that, Young Bird chain. That definitely needs to be a place in hip hop history, bro. I'm telling you, like somebody, like somebody I'd never even seen before. Like the chain got robbed in Detroit. <laughs> Somehow it ended up in a lake in Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> some some unheard of rapper literally just chucked it into a lake. Like you know what? All right, it's been on tour. It's done now. It was, it was like six months later. Yeah. He just chucked it in a lake. Too. Like, it was a nice over. chain. It was all right, man. Yeah. And I, man, it was a couple of chains that got took from him, but uh, oh, that was the most infamous because yeah. that yeah. one went all around the world. All around, everyone. Yeah, had that, that, chain. That, that chain had its own career, man. It did. Yeah, it did, somebody. Was, it, I'm surprised it didn't release a hit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that chain was more memorable than his career. Yeah, I, I don't remember any of the songs he ever recorded, but I remember no, that chain. No, I, I remember that chain. 
Yeah, I don't remember any of them. Yeah, man, it's tough. But yo, I am Nate here. This Kev. And yo, this is the Games Music Life <laughs> Podcast, episode 140. 140. Got spicy. Yes. yes. Drink more water, people. Stay hydrated. Of course. Peace. Peace.